What's up, all? It's Sister Shay Says, and welcome back. Today, I'm joined with actor Henry Esteve. Did I say that right? Esteve? Oh, oh. Esteve. You got Esteve. it the second time. Got you. Okay. Um, so you may know him as playing Javier on Freeform show Grownish. You definitely know him for that, because that's one of my favorite um, characters there. But welcome, Henry. How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great. So let's get into it. Like I said, you're playing on Grownish right now, and honestly, how did you land this role, playing with Yara Shahidi, Chloe, Hallie, Diggy Simmons? Like, you guys have a great family knit. How did you land this role? Great cast. Um, yo, actually, I was in the process of moving back to New York in 2019. Um, I had just found an apartment. I just put down a deposit, and, uh, and that week, I got a call that I had auditioned for it, you know, like a couple weeks before. Um, and that week, as soon as I put the deposit down, I got the call that I had to be back in LA in like four days to start filming. Wow. So were you able to cancel the deposit or did yeah, it still have to come? Back to me. Shout out to the landlord. Right? <laughs> <laughs> for sure. So can you tell me more about your character, Javier on Gronish? Um, yeah, so Javi is first generation Cuban American grad student. He is a political activist, wants to get into politics, um, and is like, in a lot of ways, I think crosses party lines. Um, but is uh, is one of the two Republicans on the cast, which is it's fun to play the other side of that because I think. So often you hear Republican and you think of like a very stereotypical version of what that might be. Yeah. Um, and I think Javi gets to, to bring in a conversation that uh, politics and principles don't necessarily have to be on opposite sides of the spectrum, opposite sides of the spectrum. Now, would you say Javier is a close depiction of who you are um, in reality, or was it something that you had to learn, or like even just like get into character and really study on? I mean, I think mannerisms and like manner of speaking were were similar. He's from Miami, or I'm from Miami too. He's from Miami, both first generation Cubans. Um, so I think in that respect, there's a lot of similarities. And then personality wise, no. Uh, Javi, I think, way more controlled than I am. I'm like a little bit more of a head. I'm way more emotional than Javi is. Got you. <laughs> Are you a Cancer? Taurus. Oh, so okay. That's comes, that's the next ah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll be on set and I'll do something. I'll be like, oh my bad, that was Henry. That's not Javi. Wouldn't Javi wouldn't do that. <laughs> So, speaking of Javier, you actually played Javier on another show, um, ABC's Revenge, back in 2014. So, do you yeah. use your past acting experiences to prepare for your new ones, like this Rolling Grownish? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think you pick something up in everything you're doing, and, like, I'm constantly learning. I think from the next thing, I'll I'll take a bunch of stuff that I've learned in Grownish, and uh, it, it'll keep adding on. So, like, I don't know if there's anything specifically Mm -hmm. that, that I took, I mean, well, Re Revenge was my first job ever. So that was also a lot of like, I didn't even know how to hit a mark when I got to Revenge. <laughs> like I, I was positive I was getting fired after my first day of Revenge. Really? Positive, I had no idea what I was doing. There was something like 150 people around, oh, I'm not trying to act. And I was just like, what is going on, bro? They're gonna definitely fire me. They're gonna guess somebody who's done this before. So what is something that you learned from Revenge that you've taken into like your future careers and even like instilling you now that you're doing Grownish and more projects? Uh, preparation is heavy for me. I, there's a lot of actors and I think everyone has their own way of working, but like a lot of actors could show up and like when you're filming a lot, you don't, you know, you're getting lines day of, you're getting lines the night before. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, learning those lines the night before is big. Like, I need to sleep on my lines. Yeah. And I yeah. learned that on Revenge. Like, if I can learn it, and even if I, like, spend an hour learning it and then sleep, I have it in me. But if I'm, like, learning it in the makeup chair, I'm struggling. <laughs> no, I definitely <laughs> agree. I need, I need some time to let it sink in, for sure. Yeah. And then, weirdly, I was listening... 
I'm going to go on a little tangent. I was listening to this dude, um, Andrew Huberman, this like neuroscientist that somehow I like stumbled upon. Um, and he was talking about a study that either he did or he had read and was just uh, talking about um, that sleep helps you learn. So like your neural pathways get opened up, but it's easier to reinforce them if you sleep. Oh, I actually didn't know I that. Neither did I. And I was like, bro, I knew that without knowing it. And now I got some science behind it. Yeah. Well, you know, they always say rest is the best way to um, like make it through life. Like you need some resting. So maybe you got to sleep on it. Maybe you that's why it's the same. That's sleep on it. From. Sleep on that. You see, we're, we're right here. right? <laughs> <laughs> we're making it make sense for sure. <laughs> so Javier, you're pretty much an is. Javier is actually like an activist on the show. Um, and you take after that in your personal life as well. You've been showing your support for Cuban protesters on social media and showing up for the, the demonstrations as well. But can you tell us what issues you feel strongly about and why activism is important to you? Um, yeah, I mean, I think right now Cuba is just so prevalent. Um, most obviously with what's going on that people are being starved, beaten, jailed, murdered for protesting against the government. And um, I think for me, that hits really hard. And just like my grandma and my mom, um, you know, they left, they fled the island for me to have the opportunity to, to be able to voice my opinion and have a voice and, and be able to use my voice. Um, so... I just, I feel a responsibility to try to amplify their voice right now when the government's trying to, to shut the voice down. Mm. Well, thank you so much, because honestly, like, even just seeing your page, um, you definitely are using your platform for good, and yeah. that's super important. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. Thank you. So what is next for you, Henry? Uh, you know, right now I just wrapped with Grownish and I'm trying to find what the next project is. I just I want to do something. I'm luckily in a position right now where I feel like I can take my time and, and find something I'm really passionate about. So I'm waiting and I'm, I'm just trying to find the right thing that like leaves me super inspired. Well, we can't wait to see your next project. It might be another Javier. Who knows? He seems to have like a right? couple of <laughs> People need to start naming these Latin characters something else. <laughs> <laughs> but that'll be very funny. But we'll see what's next for you. We wish you the best. And thank you for joining us. I appreciate you for having me. Of course. And thank you all for watching Bold TV. Make sure you follow us on all our platforms. And we'll see you next time.